September 11, 2013 marks the 10th anniversary of the Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety. Ten years ago, the Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety to the Convention on Biological Diversity entered into force, establishing an international commitment to ensure the safe handling, transfer, and use of living modified organisms, LMOs, resulting from modern biotechnologies. Today, over 165 countries are parties to the protocol, which is one of the fastest growing treaties of the United Nations. As a result, in countries across the world, practical steps have been taken to establish functional biosafety systems. To meet their obligations under the protocol, many parties are building capacity through various collaborative activities at all levels. Moldova uh, benefited uh, from uh, the several uh, UNEP-GF uh, projects. I would like to mention, uh, for example, the development uh, of the NBF's uh, uh, project uh, uh, and the co concept of uh, national biosafety framework has, has been uh, uh, approved uh, and uh, developed. Uh, also, mm, uh, the national um, country a project uh, of the implementation of NPFs uh, as well as BCH1 and BCH2 uh, gives opportunity to Moldova to develop uh, institutional and uh, regulatory framework uh, in Moldova and uh, to have uh, uh, considerable um, inputs uh, to uh, promote a mechanism for public information and participation to the decision making process. Many countries have participated in the UNEP-GEF biosafety projects in their efforts to develop and implement their national biosafety frameworks comprising regulatory regimes and administrative systems. This would include systems to conduct risk assessments of LMOs. Risk assessment of LMOs in the European Union is carried out according to the EU biosafety legislation and the relevant guidelines developed by EU institutions like the European Food Safety Authority, the so-called EFSA. This risk assessment framework, although it is more detailed than the Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety, follows the principles laid down in Article 15 and Annex 3 of the Protocol. Countries are also increasingly sharing their biosafety information through the information sharing facility under the Protocol, known as the Biosafety Clearinghouse. Since its establishment, the BCH Filipinas, through the cooperation of our competent national authorities, has been continuously providing, in a timely manner, accurate and updated information on pertinent laws, regulations, and summary of risk assessment and decisions made by our country on the use of GMOs for food, feed, and processing. In addition, up-to-date information on experts in the field of biosafety and biotechnology, as well as activities to promote Biosafety, as implemented by the government and other institutions and organizations, are also provided for in the BCH. The national nodes of the BCH and the central portal of the BCH are used to facilitate the exchange of scientific, technical, environmental, and legal information on LMOs. Countries are also actively promoting awareness raising and public consultation on biosafety issues. Liberia has had some successes in promoting public awareness, education, and participation concerning living modified organisms. We have reached out to a big cross-section of the public, including local communities, secondary schools, colleges and universities, the media, as well as farmers. We have done so through a variety of communication channels including radio talk shows, newspaper, stakeholder workshops, video shows, and publications. The success we have had in Liberia so far is largely due to the communication strategy that we developed earlier in the process. Developing and implementing a communication strategy is essential to promote public awareness, education, and participation, including access to information. An adequately informed public will then be able to make informed choices and take actions on imports and exports of LMOs. 
Countries are increasingly also shipping LMOs that are accompanied by documents clearly identifying these organisms. Since 2003, our Ministry of Agriculture signed a trilateral ar arrangement under Article 14 of the Protocol for the import of LMOs with its NAFTA partners. It mainly consists on adding the phrase may contain LMOs to the official importing documentation with a threshold of 5%. Parties are also establishing national and regional standards to identify shipments of LMOs. Under the protocol, countries have also agreed to a supplementary treaty, the Nagoya Kuala Lumpur Supplementary Protocol on Liability and Redress. This treaty sets out response measures to be taken in the event of potential damage caused by LMOs that are moved across national borders. I want uh, to invite all parties to the Biodiversity Convention and to the Cartagena Protocol to ratify the Nagoya Kuala Lumpur Supplementary Protocol. It was a very um, it, a carefully drafted legal instrument that uh, was able to gather the, um, the different positions to uh, bring us together as the international community for one common purpose. Um, the difference between this instrument and maybe other legal instruments is that it really reflects the results of the negotiations. There were years of discussions that were reflected accurately in the text and it was very satisfactory to find out that all parties involved were happy with the result. Parties to the Cartagena Protocol are in the process of ratifying and promoting the supplementary pro protocol which will enter into force once 40 countries have ratified it. The Executive Secretary of the Convention on Biological Diversity is also encouraging us to take further measures to ensure biosafety. We have certainly come a long way, but for the protocol to work and to be fully effective, we need a better understanding among all stakeholders on how the protocol works and contributes to sustainable development. The protocol needs all of us as ambassadors to spread the message of the protocol's contribution to conservation and sustainable use of biological diversity. To that end, I urge all countries to help showcase the protocol's success and lessons learned as portrayed in the theme of this anniversary, 10 years of promoting safety in the use of biotechnology.